The Grape Nuts and Grape Nuts Flakes program coming to you from the Army Airfield at Muroc, California, starring Jack Benny, with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Dennis Day, Rochester, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Did you ever hear of the forgotten meal? Well, to all too many people, that spells breakfast. Yes, all too many people give breakfast the brush off, sort of take it on the sip and run. Now, that's wrong. Nutrition experts tell us breakfast is the most important meal of the day, the time to stoke up after a fast of 10 or 12 hours. And these same experts tell us the adequate breakfast should include a cereal with whole grain nourishment. Well, both Grape Nuts and Grape Nuts Flakes are cram full of energy-giving, body-building, whole grain nourishment. And these two delicious cereals have that one and only malty rich flavor. Grape Nuts crisp and crunchy, Grape Nuts Flakes, tempting toasty brown flakes. So don't let breakfast be the forgotten meal at your home. Eat a good breakfast, do a better job. Serve thrifty, nutritious Grape Nuts or Grape Nuts Flakes every morning. Gentlemen, tonight we're broadcasting from the Army Airfield located on the dry lake at Muroc, California. <laughs> and we'd like to show you how Jack and the gang made the trip up here. So let's go back a few hours and pick up Jack and Rochester at the house. Shoo, 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 baby. Shoo, 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 baby. Bye, 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 baby. Your papa's going up to the Muroc camp. <laughs> Rochester. Don't cry, baby. Don't sigh, baby. Bye, 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 baby. They got a lake up there and it ain't even damp. <laughs> Rochester. We like to travel and entertain the boys. If they don't like us, they stick out their tongues and make a certain noise. <laughs> Rochester. Oh, shoo, 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 birdie. Rochester. When I call, you answer me. Sorry, boss. I was just carried away by my soft, tender voice. <laughs> well, take off that bow tie. You're not making me swoon. Now, stop her. I don't say things like that when you play your violin. You don't have to. When I play my violin, I really put something in it. I don't know what you put in it, but what comes out is for it. <laughs> Never mind that. Now, Rochester... The bus will be here any minute to take us to the camp. Have you got everything ready? Yes, sir. I packed your shoes, your ties, your shirts, your snuggies, your radio, your pipe, your hot water bottle, your skis, your bath mat, your ashtray, your bridge... Rochester, I'm going to Muroc to entertain, not to enlist. <laughs> my goodness. Well, all I know is what happened to my cousin. What happened? He went to a camp to entertain. They gave him a gun and booked him into Guadalcanal. Your cousin? Yeah. Japan don't know it, but the rising sun's gonna be hidden by a dark cloud. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, anyway, Rochester, I think we ought to... Oh, there's the bus. Okay, okay, we're coming. Come on, Rochester. Okay, okay, driver. Well, it's about time, bifogals. <laughs> so what if it is? Say, driver, did you pick up anyone else in our party yet? Yeah, Don Wilson. He's sitting right in the middle of the bus. He is? Yeah, this greyhound wasn't sway back when I started. <laughs> <laughs> what an animal! <laughs> yeah, it does sag a little, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> Oh, hello, Don. Hiya, Jack. Hello, Rochester. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Say, Jack, uh, what kind of a camp are we going to? Well, it's the Army Airfield at Murat. And you know, Don, there's a very exclusive place to eat there, Ma Green's. What a place. <laughs> Wonderful food. All right, driver, let's get going. We have to pick up Phil Harris uh, at uh, 619 Spring Valley. Rochester, you sit here. Okay. 
Spring Valley. Oh, smart guy. Phil told me he'd be waiting in front of his house. Driver, give him the horn. I can't. It belongs to the company. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now cut that out. Or go back to Alan. Now just blow the horn. Oh, Phil! <laughs> Phil Harris! I guess he can't hear me. Rochester, you call. Okay. Call for Philip Harris! <laughs> Phil. Phil was supposed to be ready when the bus arrived. I've told him time and again when we make these trips to curl his hair the night before. <laughs> Darn it. Maybe it did, boss, and got it mussed up while he was sleeping. <laughs> Well, maybe. You know, he can't take it off like you do. <laughs> Rochester, when I go to bed, I don't take my hair off. Well, you should. Every morning we have to shake out the blankets to find it. <laughs> Rochester, if you don't stop making up things like that, I'll get... Well, here I am, Jackson, ready to go. It's about time, Phil. It's about time. Hey, Phil, what kept you so long? Well, guys, Jackson, I had to say goodbye to Alice before I could leave the house. Hey, are you married to Alice Fay? Yeah. What do you want to leave the house for? <laughs> Look, at driver, stop being so comical. Just drive, will you? Okay, okay. Our next stop is 360 North Camden Drive. We have to pick up Miss Livingston. Okay, okay. Shoo, 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 baby. Uh, shoo, 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 baby. Uh, bye, 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 baby. Uh, do you hope that we don't get a paletta? <laughs> Stop singing and get me to Miss Livingston's house. <laughs> Shoo, baby. Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. I was waiting for you. Well, are you all ready? Uh-huh. Say, Jack, do you notice anything? Oh, yeah. You're wearing a new dress. Boy, that sure is a glamorous outfit. Thanks. Do you think the soldiers will like it on me? Mary, they'd like that dress on a second lieutenant. <laughs> or Harold Irwin. Anybody. <laughs> Now, come on, let's, let's, let's get going. Okay. Say, Jack, are we going up to Muroc to visit the soldiers? Yes, why? <laughs> well, there's a switch if I ever heard one. Huh? Mary, you always talk about going out with soldiers, and the minute one of them asks you for a date, you run home looking for your mother. Well, they always ask me to bring a friend. What are you talking about? The soldiers wouldn't go out with your mother. Go on two weeks at Muroc, and they'd go out with you. <laughs> Well, it is a little dusty here, I'll admit. <laughs> I'm not, though. Now, let's... <laughs> oh, brother. Now, let's, let's, let's go or we'll be late. Uh, just a second, Jack. I want to go out in the kitchen and speak to Butterfly. She's taking the rest of the day off. Okay. Shoo, 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 baby. Shoo, 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 baby. Shoo, bye, 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 baby. Your mama's going down to 
Central Avenue. Butterfly, Butterfly, what are you doing? I'm cleaning out the ice box. Oh, why didn't you do it last night? I wasn't hungry then. <laughs> Uh, make it, uh, make it snappy, will you, Mary? Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Butterfly. Mr. Benny, I wanted to tell you that I certainly enjoyed your program last week. Oh, was that the first time you heard it? No, that was the first time I missed it. <laughs> hmm, well, that's, that's not much of a compliment, Butterfly. Oh, I meant that Miss Livingston brought the radio script home and I read it. Oh, I see. I've been reading it every day this week, and gee, <laughs> it so is funny. Well, thanks. Butterfly, did you like that joke about Miss Livingston going up in an airplane? You know, the one on page two? Oh, I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> I see. Well, we're going now, Butterfly, and I hope you enjoy your day off. Thank you. Uh, what are you going to do? Well, you know my boyfriend, my soldier boyfriend, Jerome? He's coming in from camp. He is? Yes. <laughs> I hope he proposes to me tonight. Well, there's, <laughs> there's only one sure way, Butterfly. Act hard to get. But Mr. Benny, he only has a three-hour pass. <laughs> oh, I see. Come on, Mary, they're waiting for us. Goodbye, Butterfly. Goodbye. Shoo, 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 baby, shoo, 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 baby, bye, bye, bye. Say, Jackson, have I got a surprise for the gang this week. When we get up to the camp, my band's gonna play some of that classical music, you know, that long-haired stuff. Phil, don't start anything you can't finish, will you, please? <laughs> what are you talking about? I studied music. You studied music? Yeah. It took you two years to learn how to tap your foot. <laughs> you wouldn't have learned that if it hadn't been cold. He, he knows the classics. Well, I do. Ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. All right. Do you know anything about Beethoven's fifth? Listen, Jackson, anything that comes in fifths or pints, I know about. <laughs> That's what I thought. Phil, when we get to Muroc, just play the one number you know and keep your fingers crossed. What a guy. Shoo, 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 baby. Shoo, 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 baby. Bye, 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 baby. Your papa. Mary, off. stop with that song, will you? I'm sick of it. Well, I'm sick of Love and Bloom, too. Every time you go to a camp, you play it on your violin. The boys send in requests. I know, but you play it anyway. <laughs> I play it because... Hey, driver! Driver! Yeah, son. <laughs> pull, pull up to the right. There's Dennis Day's house. Okay. You better double park the bus. There's no room there. Oh, I can get in between those two cars. I parked in a smaller space yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Say, driver. Are you sure you parked in a smaller place yesterday? Yeah, but now that I think of it, I was on a bicycle. <laughs> well, that, that does make a difference. Now, uh, now blow the horn, will you? Oh, Dennis! Coming, Mother! <laughs> Not your mother, it's me! Dennis. Oh. Now hurry up, kid. Take it easy. You don't have to run. Dennis, look out. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Benny. What's new? Dennis, didn't you hurt yourself? Oh, no. I trip over our garden hose every day. Well, why don't you take it off the path and put it on the lawn? Well, why should I go out of my way to trip over it? Well, that's the silliest thing I ever heard. Come on, get on the bus. Hello, fellas. Oh, hello, hello, kid. Hello, hello kid. Dennis. What a coincidence. What is? Seeing so many people I know on the same bus. <laughs> yes, it's a small world, isn't it, kid? Okay, driver, let's go. Say, Dennis. Yes, please? What number are you going to do on the program today? I thought I'd sing Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Oh, yes, the boys will like that. Better rehearse it in the, in the bus, will you, Dennis? Okay. <laughs> Oh, I knew my true love. 
Dennis, that was swell, and the boys at Muroc will love that song. Your voice sounded like a million dollars. That's what makes me mad. Why? You get it for practically nothing. <laughs> Quiet, Dennis, you're doing all right. Now, driver, make a left turn at the next corner and go to 2833 North Locket. Okay, baby, okay. Say, Jack, the cast is all here. Who are you picking up? I'm taking Alexa Smith with us. Alexa Smith? She was with us last week at the Marine base. I know, Mary, but we're going to an army camp today, and the soldiers like to look at a pretty girl. Well, what do you think I am, a G.I. hamburger? <laughs> Mary, I meant that with both you and Alexa's there, the soldiers would see two pretty girls, and it would be a novelty. You want to show them a novelty, let them look at you, a sad sack civilian. <laughs> Don't be sarcastic. Anyway, I was in uniform in the last war. Gee, I didn't know they had wax then. <laughs> Dennis, I wasn't a whack. I was in the Navy. Oh, a wave. <laughs> I was a sailor. Now, let's forget it. That's what the Navy's trying to do. <laughs> oh, stop. And, Jack, you still haven't told us why you're taking Alexa Smith with us today. Because, Mary, she's the leading lady of the new picture I'm making at Warner Brothers. What's the name of it, Jackson? The horn blows at midnight. The horn blows at midnight? Yes. A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> Phil, if it's midnight, how could it be A.M. or P.M.? Listen, Jackson, I just get the laughs. I don't explain them. <laughs> because you don't understand them. Hey, driver, three more blocks, and it's the corner house on the left. Hokey, hokey, pokey! Oh, we don't get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't get that guy on the next trip. Rochester, uh, give me my box of cigars, will you? Here you are. Thank you. There. Oh, boss, this is Sunday. Why don't you start a fresh one? <laughs> this one's... This one's only half gone. Now, um... Put the box away. Okay. Shoo, 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 baby. Shoo, 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 baby. Bye, 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 baby. Rochester, will you please stop singing that song? It drives me nuts. Chew, 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 grape nuts. Eat, 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 grape nuts. Yum, 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 grape nuts. Your pop is off to get the sugar and cream. Well, the words are different anyway. Now, Bob, look, they like grape nuts. 
Crunch, 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 grape nuts. Oh, munch, 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 grape nuts. Ooh. Eat a bunch, bunch, grape nuts. There's a malty rich flavor in your grape nuts flakes. Pa! <laughs> Very good, Don. Very, very good, Don. Oh, driver. Yes, 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 Peppy. Yes, 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 Peppy. Uh... Now cut that out. <laughs> and pull over to the left. This is Miss Smith's house. I can park between those two cars. <laughs> Never mind. Just wait right here. Driver, you didn't have to blow the horn. I'm going in and get her. You're not fooling us, Jack. The only reason you're taking Alexis Smith to the camp is so you can get to kiss her. That's not the reason at all. Then how come every time her name is mentioned, your lips pucker up? <laughs> they do not. Hey, here comes Alexis now. Yeah, where is she? <laughs> I mean... Where is she? Oh, hello, Alexis. Hello, Jack. Hop right in. Hello, hello Alexis. Let's see. Hello. 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 Well, Alexis, we had a lot of fun at the last camp, but I'm sure glad you're coming up to Muroc with us. Oh, is that where we're going? Yeah, and believe me, the soldiers there will be glad to see you. Why? <laughs> Why? Hmm. Holy smoke, even I know the answer to that. <laughs> Well, the kid's getting smart. Uh, say, Alexis. They want her autograph. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, say, Alexis, besides doing our broadcast at the camp, we're gonna do an extra show. And that's when you and I will do a love scene from our new picture. You know, where I kiss you. Now, wait a minute, Jack. Are you bringing me up there to entertain the soldiers or you? The soldiers, of course. Well, unpucker, we've still got 60 miles to go. I'm only rehearsing, kid. Anyway, Alexis, remember, we do our program first, then later on, we'll do the love scene. You better do the love scene first. You're not getting any younger, you know. Mary, you keep out of it. After all, I've done love scenes with big stars before. You know, Alexis, I made a picture called George Washington Slept Here, and my leading lady was Ann Sheridan. I know, Jack. Annie told me all about you and your acting. Oh, really? Uh, what, uh, what did she say? Well... Go ahead, tell me. I won't get conceited. I guarantee you won't. <laughs> now, Alexis, stop teasing. Tell me, what did Ann Sheridan say? Well, um, Annie said there was no question about your acting ability. Uh-huh. But if there was a question, she was too much of a, a lady, lady to, to answer. answer. <laughs> I, know. I, don't, I don't quite understand, Alexis. Well, look, Jack, I saw you in that picture, and all the time you were making love to Anne, you were looking right into the camera. I was? Yes. I had a feeling your option was hanging on the lens. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it was. <laughs> Say, Alexis, let's rehearse the love scene we're going to do at the camp. You know, where I'm going away. Oh, yes. Uh, the one where you leave me and kiss me goodbye, isn't it? Yes. Then I discover I forgot my hat, so I come back to the house. Oh. I get my hat and I kiss you goodbye again. But, Jack, in that scene, you're only supposed to kiss me goodbye once. Well, I rewrote it a little. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, I get my hat, and this time, when I kiss you, I completely lose my head. Then you won't need your hat. <laughs> Mary. You see, Alexis, I've got the scene rewritten so it has a sustaining interest. When I go out, I kiss you goodbye. Then you go out and you kiss me goodbye. Then for a change of pace, we both go out and we kiss each other goodbye. <laughs> but, Jack, instead of all this kissing, why don't we just stay in and play a game of gin rummy? Well, uh, I want a little excitement. So do I. <laughs> Well, thanks. Come on, Alexa, let's rehearse the scene. All right. Now, this is the way we'll do it at the camp. <clears throat> you remember the one that we had. <clears throat> ah, my darling, I must leave you now. I'm going to Lancaster for a small coke. <laughs> Just a touch of cherry. Don't leave me, Felix. Felix? <laughs> Not tonight. Tonight of all nights. 
This is our anniversary. You can't leave me, Clap Saddle. <laughs> Clap Saddle? This will be the first time we've been apart. Don't go, Albatross. <laughs> Albatross, Alexis, stop changing my name. When she gets a jerk, she'll stick to it. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Mary, leave us alone. There's a magazine on that seat next to you. Pick it up and read it, will you? Where? Oh, Liberty, I haven't seen it this week. Good. Oh, my sweet. Yes, Clearwater. <laughs> you know that I don't want to go You're all that I live for You're the guiding light in everything I do You're the sunshine that brightens my drab existence And Mary, if you turn to page 16, there's a story about me it Tells about my career and my home life And how generous I am What a hit I was in vaudeville and pictures and on the radio And what a great guy I am Jack, who are you in love with, me or you? <laughs> oh, oh, pardon me, Alexis, where were we? We just passed Ma Green's <laughs> I didn't mean that You were just about to kiss her, dope I was? Oh, yes, I remember. Let's go on, Alexis. I must go now. I must go. I must go now, darling. Kiss me. Well. Well. Well, how was that? Pew, 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 baby. <laughs> pew, 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 Mary, baby. I didn't ask you. <laughs> you always had the fun. When you think of the word affinities, what does that call to your mind? Romeo and Juliet, Hero and Leander, Priscilla and John Alden? Okay. But tonight I'm thinking of another kind of perfect mating, one you meet up with at the breakfast table every morning. That's a whole grain cereal, such as Molly Rich Grape Nuts Flakes and milk. Boy, for swell taste, you simply can't beat a big bowl of crisp, toasty brown Grape Nuts Flakes and milk. You bet not. And now, dietitian experts explain why, nutritionally speaking, these two are made for each other, because each enhances the food value of the other. Grape Nuts Flakes are teeming with whole grain nourishment, including iron, niacin, and vitamin B1. Milk supplies more proteins, carbohydrates, and other essentials to complement the food values of the cereal. Together, they make a perfectly balanced dish. So folks, whether or not you have to manage with less milk than usual, remember this. Your milk will do double nutritional duty when you serve it with delicious whole grain grape nuts flakes. Thank you, Colonel Gore, and all you boys here at Muroc for another swell day. I also want to thank Alexis Smith, whom you will soon see in The Adventures of Mark Twain. And folks, before I say goodnight, please remember the March of Dimes and the Fourth War Loan Drive. It's so important now. Good night, everybody. Hot Grape Nuts Wheat Meal. Hooray, what a treat. Delicious, nutritious, and so good to eat. And if you are thrifty and if you are wise, get the giant new package economy size. That's Hot Grape Nuts Wheat Meal in the time-saving, money-saving new big economy package. 30 full ounces, more cereal for your money. You can't beat that luscious roasted wheat flavor, that full-bodied texture, that real whole wheat nourishment. Get hot grape nuts wheat meal in the new economy package. The origination of this program from the Army Airfield at Muroc, California, does not constitute an endorsement of the product advertised. This is the National Broadcasting Company. KFI, Los Angeles. Endorsement of the product advertised. This is the National Broadcasting Company. KFI, Los Angeles.